this. These are all change machines. These, these haven't even been opened. Big money, big money. Oh, come on. Oh, it's turning. All right, look, look, look. Did look. you find money? Yep. <gasps> man, oh man. Just completed probably the greatest pick of my life. 10 acres. Yes, 10 acres of items under one roof. This place was huge. It's a secret place. Almost nobody knows about it. I didn't even know about it until Conky's Flippin' Adventure shared it with me and invited me to come along. And you're not going to believe, you're not going to believe what we find. We find almost 15 coin money change machines. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end to see exactly what the hails we found. I'm down in the dungeon in the basement filled with all kinds of treasures here with Conky's Flippin' Adventures. He's back there, right there. Look, there's Noreen, Conky's wife as well. We're in this massive, massive, massive place to pick and to see what kind of treasure we can find. Olight on the head, Olight in the pocket. <laughs> it's gonna be an right kind of day. Here's how this system works. This place is just huge. It goes all the way. If you can, you can't even see how far it goes. It goes all the way to a wall over there. And it goes all the way to a wall over there you can't see. And then what you do, you pay per pound of what you pick. You bring it over here to the scale. You weigh it on the scale. And then you pay per pound. Let's see how much I weigh today. And let's hope for a good amount. Oh, that's a bad amount. I got to go on a diet. It, you got to have a good flashlight when you're out picking, especially in a basement like this. Look at this. Look what I just found. X outs. Odor exterminators. There's one for each one of my armpits. The best part, shopping carts to go through all these aisles. Holy hails. I can actually see a wall over here. Look at this. How cool is this? And to pay by the pound, anybody who knows me knows I'm all about fashion. I mean, come on. Look at this belt. That is from a life jacket. And I was just thinking these would make incredible rings. Oh, oh man, I should have been a hand model. George... Your Alibaba's coming home with some new jewelry. How hot is that? I think I just hit the jackpot. Check this out. Check this out. Lee, mm -hmm. I can't believe you walked past this. Did you even see it? Look at this. This is going to rattle for a baby. No, this is this is how you get your lotto numbers right there. Oh, oh, check man. that out. That's Isn't a that pen? cool? It's a pen. And boom. There's your lotto number. Oh, dude, you got to buy that. Yeah, oh, by, by, by all means. Uh, can you tell us how much per pound it is? It's a dollar a pound. Dollar What's a pound. What's that thing weigh? This, I don't know, two ounces. You're basically getting it for free. Here's one little tip to keep in mind when you come picking into a place like this. Don't look at eye level. Anyone else who came before you has looked at eye level. You got to look up where nobody's looked. You got to look down where nobody's looked. That's where you'll find the best stuff. These look like parts to a time machine. George keeps asking me to find a time machine in a storage unit. I think I just found a time machine in the basement. The yeah, it could be the flux capacitor. Look at that. It's amazing. This is a crazy looking briefcase, Lee. But I have a feeling there's a story with it. A little story, yeah. Okay. It was over there... About two weeks ago. Over where? Over there, uh, about 50 feet that way. Can't even see the wall back there no, so no, far. No, no, it was all the way back there. Yeah. And in it were blueprints from Firestone dating back to the 50s. No way. That the purchasing department were using to make sure that like parts that they were ordering were in spec. No way. And uh, I thought they were cool. Was about that thick worth of them. So at a dollar a pound, I think they weighed like three pounds for $3. I got a, a bunch of old blueprints, a bunch of old... Uh, 
the collectability in that, how much do you think that's worth? Um, when I looked online, I didn't see anything exactly like it. Yeah, it's going to be really rare. Old blueprints like that, I've seen go for easily nine, ten bucks a piece. Nice. You know, uh, I, th I think a lot like that might easily do eight or There's got to be more in here. I'm oh, fine. Yeah. I, I, it's a race to see who can find them first, me Somewhere. or Lee. Um, Noreen probably already has yeah, them. She's, got them she's back she's there. <laughs> Couldn't be successful without my oh light. Love my light. Gotta have my light. Uh, I checked all around here with my beam of sunshine and I cannot find the weights that go up here. So the scale, wow, really cool and I really like it. I don't see the oh my goodness, there's another one. There's a Dayton, an old Dayton check that out the money weight wow two cent values two cent value, one cent values look at that oh my goodness wow holy cow there's another one wow man and another and another and another and another we have a lot of scales to look through look at this old neon sign Check it out. It says packaging mailboxes. Actually, this would be perfect for... We've turned my basement into an entire packaging room. I'm going to see if I can find a plug and see if this thing still works. If it does, it's coming home with me. Uh-oh. No, no, no. The C and the K have broke right there. We are so close. This is like an industrial junkyard. You find pit, bits and pieces and parts for everything. And industrial stuff costs thousands upon thousands of dollars. I just don't think this one's going to be worth it for me. I just found another neon sign, postnet, fax, copies. This, this stuff would be so cool. Unfortunately, that one is broken as well. Now, obviously, I could pay to have them repaired. I really don't want to pay to have them repaired. It would be cheap by the pound, but the real, the real value is in the originality and not the repair. Really cool stuff. I'm going to see if we can find one that's complete that would work for the warehouse or for the home. Follow the O-line. Follow. This is wild. This is so cool. Oh, man. I just had another idea for jewelry. Do your chain hang low, do it wobble to and fro. Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? Can you throw it over your shoulder like a con? Oh, my <laughs> you're gonna break your neck. Almost, almost strike one. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, packaging stickers. This side up, George is gonna love that. That's gonna be her birthday's coming up May 10th. So, I just found a, I just found a present, for sure. Let's see, fragile handle with care. Mm, she's got a bunch of fragile stickers. I'll buy it anyway. A little bonus for her birthday. Right there, those two. Look what Noreen just found. Okay. You found two of these, right, Noreen? Yeah. So you open that up. There. You display rings in it. That's perfect for jewelry lots. Uh, next time I'll bring gloves. But not this time. There's so much cool stuff. We could do that. We could put rings in here. Display it all. That'd be really cool. This place is so amazing. It's like rubbing a genie lamp, a genie coming out and saying, all right, what is it that you want? Ask and you shall receive. There we go. Long monster gloves, an entire box of gloves. An entire box. It's wild. It's crazy. This is a picking dream come true. I think I found an old cash register. I was just asking the genie of the pick ears for cash, and here's a register. I'm almost positive, and that's that's coin op right there. That's definitely for coin op. All right, let's see what we have here. We got an old. Let's turn it. Ah, I can't. I'm kind of stuck here. There's this huge machine. Let me see if I can get around. Okay, you know usually what happens when I end up doing this stuff. I get hurt. Look at that. Oh, man, look at that. Old porcelain. Look at that machine. Wow. That is cool. That is so cool. This is a history lesson in itself. Just for anybody. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at that. I see an old sign. You guys think we can get it? Oh, we're going to have to move this stuff around. It's back in there. I like that. I want to put that. I want to put that at the warehouse because I'm never working. See, it's funny. Sarcasm. Got it. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. I think I'm going to hang it with the license plates on the door of the warehouse. Not only is machinery, industrial machinery, worth money, but look at all this. The history in all the tins. For example, this lapping compound, okay? But we could just go on and on and on. Paperwork is worth money. Look at this. Just boxes. Boxes could be worth money. The history that's there to somebody who is a collector, especially if we have gas and oil, if we have auto, if we have, and you name it, it's here. It's industrial. So there's a collector. Look at there. Lee Brake Hardware. That box may actually be worth more than the thing that it contains inside. I got to give this one to Lee because that's his name. Is that what I think it is? I think it is. Look, it's all crated. There's a bunch of stuff crated here. And is it a brand new? It is. It is a brand new radiator. My goodness, the scrap value there in the copper just alone would be worth the purchase. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, and I think... Is there another one? There is. There is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The resale value that you could make in this place. It's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Don't ever be shocked. You could find just about anything in here. <laughs> yep. Even that. So far back now, I can actually finally see the back wall. I've been here roughly an hour. Dust, my eyes deceive me. Is this what I think it is? Oh my goodness, it is. It is a Christmas Lotto Pal. Lucky lottery. It's like the pin, but I just found I found a Lotto Pal. Did Noreen find one? Yeah. I just found one. It's a snowman. She found a Santa Claus. She found a Santa Claus? I just found that I found Santa Claus a snowman right here. How cool. Anything to do with the lotto always sells well online. Piss out. You already found some Oh, uh, there's another, there's another and Santa there's the Claus. Santa Claus. Nice. Look at that, the Christmas lotto pals. All I right. don't know how many there are because we've got, a, we've got the pin. Yeah. We've got a snowman. And you got a snowman Santa now a Santa. Yeah, well, so we're gonna have to, uh, throw it in the uh, cart, man. we got miles and miles of aisles, so... But that's what I mean. <laughs> this you're, is you're amazing. You're looking at one thing, and you look up, and all of a sudden there's something that it doesn't is, belong there. Yep, yep. Totally cool. Yeah. This no is amazing. No reason for being there at all, but there it is. This is amazing. You got your O-Light, right? I do. Boom. There it is. Don't go anywhere like this without the O-Light. Yeah, you got to have that. After a fire extinguisher saves lives, this is where it goes. This is where all of these, these are the memorials for fire extinguishers right here. Look at this. Lee, did you see this one? The fire blanket rusted through. Oh, yeah. On the bottom no, there. I don't think that's very good for anything. It was as much as stuff in there. Is there? Yeah. Oh, that's an actual fire blanket. Huh. It's still this, in there. Okay, so here's the other crazy thing with, with fire stuff. Fire extinguishers, old fire extinguishers, extremely, extremely uh, sought after. Uh, anything, the old... The old extinguishers, remember, they were in glass bottles, and you would throw it like a grenade, a bomb. Anything like that would be higher-end stuff, and this would be the place. This would be the place where we could find it. This is an old... I think you fill this up and then push the... Push the lever? Yeah, you hear, hear the hissing? Listen. Oh, it just came out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hour three. <sighs> Been so long since I've actually eaten. <sighs> I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm scared. I'm afraid. At least I still have hoodie. I found this shelter. I think I can survive here. A little bit of shelter, crate, boxes. But I have no idea. No idea where I'm at right now. SOS, send help. Send George. I'm branching out from my makeshift home. I'm gonna leave the crates.
and try and find my way out of here. New plan. Instead of breadcrumbs, I'm going to put little packaging peanuts to make sure I don't retrace my steps. Hopefully, I make it out alive. There we go. Some motor parts there. Okay. This is starting to look familiar, actually. No! Right back where I started! There's gotta be a way out of here. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, careful, Captain Fumble Nuts. All right, what's George's number? Nine, one, one. George, George is me. It's Jeremy. I'm lost. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I may never see you again. Oh, GPS? On my phone? The George positioning system? Oh, <laughs> okay. You're right. You're right. You, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, I'll see you in about an hour. All right. Love you, Dubai. Here's the amazing value of knowing a secret hidden place like this, like Conky does. And I've been fortunate enough that he invited me to come. Let's say an industrial piece like this. Let's say, just say it's $50, all right? $50 piece. And yet here, you're buying it for a dollar a pound. And there's an entire Gaylord, an entire pallet. You can put this on eBay list one item at a time, sell it for $50. To make the next sale, boom, all you do is click relist. There is easily $5,000 worth of profit in something like this. That is a dream come true. Look what I just found. This entire box, brand new, okay? Can't really see anything, you just see bright. Once you get inside, it's flame resistant, flame retardant, fabric right there it's wild isn't it wow that whole box has got to be worth a ton you guys are never going to believe what i just found yes even in a place like this there's food fresh hold marinade for hamburger okay <laughs> oh my let's see i'm just gonna see if we could find the expiration date you know what i don't think expiration date is an issue that is some potent stuff. Look at that. Oh my, I don't think we'll be getting that. That is potent. And it looks like poo poo. It's gold. I found gold down here. Pure gold. Not only that, but the thing it's attached to, whoever had this idea was a genius. I could have this as my seat at the desk at the warehouse and never ever have to take any breaks. As a matter of fact, I think we're gonna have to use it right now. Uh, yeah, oh, that's better. So much better. It doesn't seem to be working. One more try. I really hope you guys don't think this video is going to the pots. You know, straight down the toilet. I found a tote filled with signs. Caution, truck wheels must be chalked. It's gotta be from an old store. Caution, keep hands clear. Uh, signage like this. Oh, be careful. Uh, dry. Dry dip. Do not block aisles. Things like that. I know we're reading upside down. It's just the nature of the beast. Floor load capacity. But a lot of this stuff can actually have a lot of cool value. Dry standpipe, fire department only. Look what Lee just showed me. Lee knew where there was a secret stash, a whole box filled with gloves. The way I go through gloves, look, this triple, double deep. I'm buying the entire box. Dollar a pound. Are these? Oh, they are. Look at this. These are all change machines. These, these haven't even been opened. Holy cow, there could still be money in them. Lee just pointed out there's a key. Lee, take that key off. Is... Let's see if we can get into this one. It's been so on there forever. It's, oh my goodness. It really has, hasn't it? Okay. It's a... uh, changer. It's the changer. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh! Oh! It did you see that? It's turning. It's oh! Turning. It turned. It turned. It actually turned. Okay. Oh, Lee. Yeah, there you, there you go, there you go. And then, oh. Right, okay, Lee, here's your like coin it. should be in here. That's your coin hopper. And then this is your dollar hopper. Well, we want dollars, okay. don't we? Yeah, so you pull that out. Well, that's where they got, and they would get stacked right here. Okay, so. All I see is a sponge. Okay, so the sponge, they would get stacked oh, okay, right down it. right here. It. Okay, so no dollars. But, okay, what about your coin hopper? How do coin, you. You would pull right uh, up here. Okay. Yep. Too many years with vending machines with me. Oh, I must not be any good at pulling. Coin hopper. Is there a. Am I supposed to? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they won't let it come out. Oh, you know what? Maybe. I don't know. Anybody home? Usually you just pull them. Usually. I'm not seeing how to get in there. But we got into our first change machine. Let's see if we can get into another one. Yeah, let's do it. I guess it looks like a screwdriver. This one, the key is broken off. You found the yeah, piece, right? Yeah, the piece of the key. Okay. So the key is broken off actually in there, but Lee's still going to try and turn the mechanism. We can get that to turn somehow. I'm sure we can find something down here to get in there. Oh, you think there might be a screwdriver or something down oh, here? Oh, yeah. think there might be a little bit of Here's another everything. Here's another key laying in here. Did you find another one? No, another broken key, a full broken key. Man, yeah, well, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's more than ten change machines here. All could have untold treasures. Oh, wait, wait, look at this ball of craziness. What is that? I, I don't think it's a magnet. Maybe it is a magnet. No, it might be. You could probably turn. Can you turn something with that? Will it turn? Let's see if I can just. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Which way did it turn? Clockwise? Yes, turn clockwise. clockwise. Just want to turn that mechanism clockwise and then it will pop out. That's what you had before. I think. Wasn't it? Either way. Let's try to go the other way. Come on, we can get in it. We can do this. It'd be worth it even if there was a quarter in there. Quarter of a million. Quarter of a million. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We're buying this thing by the pound if there's a quarter million in there. <laughs> Can we just lay the cash yeah, on the scale? Yeah, just lay the cash on the scale, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that, that's probably why the key broke it. It was probably the wrong key that somebody stuck in there. Probably so much money in there, there wasn't enough room for the key. Yeah, that could be it, too. It, it seems like the key's stuck in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, you jammed the wrong key in there. And all it of a sudden... It is not going to open up. Maybe the tumblers are still locked. It could be, yeah. Should we try another one? We try another one. You did try find another key, right? Okay. We'll pull another one up. And listen to this. There's definitely... There's something in there. There's... Okay. If there's change in there, that means there's probably paper as well. we got to get in here. All right. We got to Is there a key out. broken off in there? No, not in no. that one. But we did have some other keys that okay. we found that might yep. fit. They're right here. Nice. All right. We got four good keys. And here's the fifth one up here. And a fifth one. Fifth one. One out of five out of work, don't you think? <laughs> we think. Oh, come on. Should I try? Try I'll it. Try. I'll try. Wait, you're the key master. I'm going to let you do it. Here we go. <gasps> oh, so close. So close. I thought that one was going to be it. Some more options here. Here we go. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. It'll go in there. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> oh. Okay. I don't like that. A couple more options. Come on. Come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Please, <sighs> please. Okay. This is a shorter key. That's, 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 that's not it. it. Try that one that I threw up there again. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, All right. Um. Oh my goodness, my I I my they are stacked too deep under here. There are a ton of change machines. Lee, there's six of them right here. Lee, look. Are there keys? Look, that one has a key. This one. Is there a key in there? Oh my goodness, look at this. There's another key. Oh. 
Oh, look how nasty it is. It's nasty beautiful. It's <laughs> nasty because it's been there forever. Okay, what if I pull this thing out? You know what? Let's try that key first. And which one was it? This one. This one? Was it this one? All right, here you go. You want me to do it or are you going to no, do it? I'll get it. Here we go. Gently. Come on, come on. Oh, it's oh. like it wants to. Okay. Rats. All right. Nope. <laughs> okay, but it'll open this one. But here, here's another key. Let's try this try one. Try that one. Try that one. Come on, come on, big money, big money, big money. Doesn't want to go. Oh, in doesn't there. want to go, does it? Nope, doesn't want to go in there. Okay, let's keep that one with that one. Right. I'll tell you what. Here, let me let me pull this one out. We'll flip it around, and then you can try the key, or maybe I'll pick it up and we can put it up here. What do you think? Whatever you think you can do. <laughs> Remember, you're in your forties, man. Yeah, that's true. I'm an old man. <laughs> is that a, what is that? Is that another key? Oh, it's part of key. Oh, it's a broken one. Yeah, there's a lot of broken keys in these old. Which means nobody's been inside. I heard something when you were swinging this thing around. I heard my back break. <laughs> you, 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 uh, yeah. So we went up. Okay, come on. Big money, big money. Oh, come on. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. It definitely, so they turn clockwise. Oh, Lee, you got it again. You got it. Come on, come on. The mechanisms are in there. The mechanisms right, are definitely in there. Right here. All right, okay. pull there. Okay, so that that goes up, and they would the bills would be stacked on the other side. Oh, no, no bills. bills. No bills. Okay. What about outside and under here? Anything? Okay. Mm. So that's the hopper right there. Uh, look, 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 look. Did you find money? Yep. <gasps> oh, where is it? Right all okay. the way forward. Let me. I gotta. Okay. We've got one shiny quarter. What year is it? 1968. Okay, a 68. Was there anything else? You knew I had a quarter. Let me put quarter. my arm back in there. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Joking. Okay. We at least, we, we made a quarter. We'll put that on the scale. Dollar a pound. <laughs> we will pay for that quarter. No pick in the dark is complete without a flashlight. And the best flashlight there is, the Olight. It's the one we use. We love it. We think it's the best on the market. Now, this May 8th, they're having another great sale. We like to tell you about their sales. This one right here. This one. Yes, the Warrior. 2250 lumens. Going to shoot 600, oh yeah, meters meters get your hands on this one may 8th all day there's some others on sale as well we never leave home without it it puts the oh in the olight and our thumbnails time we come here bring, bring in, my lock picks yes out. yes bring my lock picks and we'll get into all these